Sherman Oaks is a residential neighborhood in the southern portion of the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. It's home to several notable celebrities and influencers because of its location, its privacy, its restaurants, its weather, and a lot more that I'll be talking about in this video today. But in this video, we're gonna be giving you a map tour and street view showing you what it looks like to be living in Sherman Oaks in the San Fernando Valley. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a real estate team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day. And as a native Angelino, I know this area like the back of my hand, grew up in the San Fernando Valley. So I know a thing or two when it comes to Sherman Oaks. So if you have any questions about Los Angeles, moving, living, buying a property, renting out here, shoot me an email, shoot me a text as well, and let's get into this map tour. So boom, here we are. This is Los Angeles, downtown right here where the big Los Angeles sign is, and we're going to discuss the San Fernando Valley today here on the northwest portion of the Los Angeles area, and you can see Sherman Oaks smack dab in the middle of everything. The best part about Sherman Oaks has to be its location, its proximity to just about anything you'd want to do in LA. Whether that's go to Calabasas, Sherman Oaks is just a hop on the 101, boom, 15 minutes, you got that. 405, it is right there as well. Get to Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, get to the LAX airport, get to Studio City. It's adjacent to Studio City and Encino. And then also, if you don't want to go down the 405 and get through that traffic, you can always take cold water on the eastern portion of Sherman Oaks, take Coldwater Canyon Drive, and get to the heart of Beverly Hills. But if we're talking about Sherman Oaks today, let's check it out. Let's type in Sherman Oaks here on show you where the borders lie here in Sherman Oaks. Boom, Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, as you can see. That the borders of Sherman Oaks are interesting. You go, it is pretty much the 101 cuts halfway through the southern portion and the northern portion of Sherman Oaks. No, if you know the San Fernando Valley, you know that south of Ventura Boulevard is where the more expensive homes are. That's where you're, you'll see more celebrities living. And throughout Sherman Oaks, as well as Encino, I also did a full map tour of Encino. If you haven't seen that, check that out as well. But if you look just south of Ventura Boulevard and Valley Vista is where you're going to get the more prestigious homes down in Sherman Oaks, as well as Mulholland, Boulevard, Mulholland Drive. But let's just drop our guy off. You'll see homes that look like this, but if they look like this from the exterior, you just know that they have great views. And you'll see homes like this. It's very similar to the Hollywood Hills in a lot of homes in Sherman Oaks, even though they do have gates at some of these properties. But we're just going to randomly drop our guy in, in random locations here. Look at that. We're up in the hills now. You can see views of the valley. And we've got homes similar to this one out here in Sherman Oaks. A lot of them look like that. A lot of them are going to get views of the valley. And a lot of these streets as we go up, this is actually... A few celebrities live on this specific street right here, Alomer, Alomar Drive, Alomer, such as this house on the right. That's why you can see that it is it is blurry because there's a lot of new moderns as well as modern farmhouses in Sherman Oaks. You're going to see a lot of them north of the 101. You can purchase a home for $1.5 million, brand new construction home in Sherman Oaks, in this area, and you're getting a little closer to Van Nuys. The more north you go, the obviously the less... Uh, I didn't want to say safe, but there is a little more crime and violent activity. Not violent activities, but just the crime rates will be a little higher if you go up to Van Nuys as well as Panorama City. Not the greatest areas, but if you're still within the Sherman Oaks borders up here, we'll show you what that looks like. Because most people watching these videos are looking for homes in the $1 to $3 million price range, I would say. We'll drop our guy off in a, a residential neighborhood such as, let's zoom in here. We'll go right around Notre Dame High School. One of my rivals when I was in high school, too, Notre Dame High School. So look at that. That's a classic, a typical design of a modern farmhouse that they'd be building right here on Varna. But as we go down this street, this is what a majority, I would say 99.9% .9 of the streets look like here north of the boulevard. You're going to get a good mix of old homes. And as we keep going down, you're going to run into some contemporary houses. This one probably built in the mid-2000s. And then some, some different style right here. This one's actually being sold. I do love that stone exterior. A lot of homes have been doing that these days in the San Fernando Valley. But 
it's always nice to not have your cookie cutter style. See, every home is pretty different. These are all single story homes, which a lot of these houses here in the Sherman Oaks area north of the 101 are going to be single story homes, except for the newer construction builds. Let's go down this street, Addison, Hudson, Morrison. There are Different. See, some of them have tree-lined streets. This is obviously in the fall or the winter because they're, it's not. you don't have tr uh, leaves on these trees. But more single-story homes as we go down. And then you have homes similar to this. That's probably around $2.5 million or so. We're getting closer to $3 million as you get to modern farmhouses, which can get you 4,000 square feet potentially. Also in Sherman Oaks, if we're talking about, uh, aside from the residential areas, We've got the Van Nuys Sherman Oaks Rec Center, great park, bring your kids. You've got softball fields, Sherman Oaks Baseball Academy, Little Leagues, tennis courts, all activities you'd want to have there at the Rec Center. And then if you go, if you keep going west, you'll see Sepulveda Boulevard, where you will have a lot of condos as well, ranging from 600000 up to $1.1 million. Surrounding all of these inns, you got the Best Western, Hampton Inn, and then you've got a lot of condos surrounding it there as well. Right on Sepulveda through Clark Street and right next to the 405 Freeway, right next to the Sepulveda Basin, which is right there. Great dog parks. Great area to run around with the dogs, the kids, hang out. There's an archery facility there, and there's three great golf courses, city golf courses there as well if you're into golf. And then let's let's look a little more south again. The terrain is going to be very hilly. More expensive homes can go up to $10, 12000000 million down there in the southern portion of Sherman Oaks. And Mulholland Drive is the border from Sherman Oaks to the Beverly Hills Post Office, which is why it is pretty expensive in this city that we're talking about. But it's expensive for a reason, because of the location, because of the prestige, because of the people that live there, because of the things to do. You've got an In-N-Out Burger you guys haven't had in and out burger you're not from california what are you doing you, you come a lot of people will come to california just to have in and out it's right next to a whole foods ralph's all your grocery stores will be on ventura boulevard if you want to see more of what ventura boulevard looks like beautiful tree lined streets ventura boulevard is the street that just cuts through the heart of the San Fernando Valley, well, the heart of the downtown areas. You're going to get all of your local cafes, your shops, your palm trees, a lot of condos as well down in the Sherman Oaks areas. And so let's talk about let's talk about some nightlife here in Sherman Oaks. That would be a little more. There's going to be on both sides of Sherman Oaks. On the west, you're going to have areas such as the Tipsy Cow. You've got Anejo. Let me drop off Marmalade. You've got your the Sherman, the Woodman, lots of areas. It's going to be hard to show you all of them here, but we're back on Ventura. Toast Cafe, another great cafe, but let's go down. Mr. Furley's, the Sherman. This is probably the best stretch of nightlife. You can go bar hopping. You can take a date here, go for go to a nice restaurant, and there you go. There's Mr. Furley's, just a little bar. Great happy hours at Mr. Furley's. I uh, frequent it pretty often, but the one here in in the city a little bit more. As we keep going down, House of Billiards, great spot to shoot some pool. They have maybe 20 pool tables in there. And then this is it. This is the heart of Sherman Oaks. As you can see on the right side, you got Noah's Bagels. Great bagel spot. If you haven't been, there's they're all over L.A. That's a classic L.A. staple, Noah's Bagels. Classic staple uh, all over. The Sherman. There's a classic, classic spot. You can watch sports there. Great reviews as well. 4.4. It's pretty pretty solid. Good spot. Good burgers. Watch some sporting events there. Some games if you're into sports. There's a, a little... little. Uh, this used to be a theater, obviously, but now it's a medical spa. But I like the design to it. Cold Stone Creamery. Dave's Hot Chicken. Medici's Pizza. Haven't been there in quite a while, but that is one of the best pizza spots. I mean, when I had it, I thought that was the best pizza spot. I got to go back there. And then you got your local franchises like a Panda Express, which can never go wrong with either. But this is what it looks like down Ventura Boulevard if you're not familiar. 
And as well as on the east side, as you dip into the Silver Triangle of Studio City, you're going to get more of a nightlife out there, too. A lot of young people live in Sherman Oaks because when you first move to L.A., you want to live in a more of a, of a cheaper place. You can find a one-bedroom for 2000 2200 that is decent in the valley in Sherman Oaks or Studio City. And the good thing is you're close to the 101, you're close to the 405, so you can get around places if you want to go to Hollywood, Santa Monica, Beverly West Hollywood, everything is fairly close and a little less expensive, even though it does get to be about 10 degrees hotter in the valley than it would be on the west side, just over the hill of the Santa Monica Mountains. But you have it all in Sherman Oaks, and everything is close by, and Sino is right there. Westfield Fashion Square is a, a mall, indoor mall. It's not as hype as it used to be, not as crowded, but you do have the Sherman Oaks Galleria with a great AMC right next to the 101 and 405 conjoining areas. But that was pretty much it. Sherman Oaks is not that big of a city, not that big of a neighborhood. Lots of uh, smaller neighborhoods throughout, but we touched on pretty much everything that I wanted to. If there was more that you wanted to hear of or know about Sherman Oaks, shoot me an email. Like I said, my real estate team is here to help clients just like you buy, sell, and invest in property every day. We'll tell you anything that you want to know about Los Angeles. We'll answer every question. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. If you want to see some property out here, our team is happy to help you guys with any of your real estate concerns. But I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'm posting house tours of homes throughout the valley, throughout the west side, and all around Los Angeles. Multiple videos every single week just for you guys. Appreciate you watching till the very end, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.